Moments from busy Salem streets are acres of quiet respite enjoyed by residents and visitors alike. All started as drawings beginning in the 1930s. Some became part of the City Parks Department. They are the living legacy of two local and nationally acclaimed landscape architects, Elizabeth Lord and Edith Scriver. Theirs was the first landscape architectural business established by women in the Pacific Northwest. We are the Lord and Scriver Conservancy, a community-based nonprofit affiliated with the Garden Conservancy, a national nonprofit organization dedicated to the preservation of America's exceptional gardens. Our mission, preserving and interpreting the legacy of Lord and Scriver to promote a greater understanding of their contribution to Northwest landscape architecture. In their 40 years of practice, they designed over 250 garden projects for homes, schools, businesses, and cities in the Pacific Northwest. They pioneered landscape architecture in the Northwest. They have the honor of being the only Oregon firm recognized by the National Park Service in their book, Pioneers of American Landscape Design. Their lives and work were celebrated in 2011 at an exhibit at Halley Ford Museum in Salem. Here were examples of their remarkable drawings and the tools of their craft which transformed the city. So much of Salem's landscape that we experience daily can be attributed to Lord and Scriver. In 1929, they were commissioned to design Deepwood's two and one half acres of English style gardens. A Salem native, Elizabeth Lord devoted her life to preserving its beauty. She is the inspiration behind Salem's street tree planting plan. To enhance Salem's park system, she and Scriver worked with others in the 1950s to save and preserve the historic 90-acre Bush farmstead as Bush's Pasture Park. In the early 1970s, nearby historic Deepwood Estate became part of the city park system. These grounds, homes, and gardens are open to the public, an example of Lord and Scriver's early designs. It was more than a professional venture. According to Elizabeth Lord's grandniece, it was a lifelong dedication and commitment. I consider that these are two people who dedicated their entire professional life to public service. If you consider the gardens that they made, their service on uh, commissions of many different kinds, preservation projects in every way they could think of through article publications, teaching at OSU, uh, trying to educate, trying to inform, trying to preserve and raise the quality of life for everybody through natural spaces. We are at heart gardeners, people from all walks of life who share a passion for preserving these magnificent gardens for all to enjoy. Since the early 1980s, the Deepwood Gardeners and Friends of Bush Gardens have been quiet stewards of two publicly owned Lord and Scriver designed landscapes at historic Deepwood Estate and parts of Bush's Pasture Park. From that effort grew the Lord and Scriver Conservancy, founded in 2002. Our major projects have included the preservation of the Lord and Scriver Gardens at historic Deepwood Estate and the commissioning of the Cultural Landscape Report on Lord and Scriver's home garden, Gaiety Hollow, now maintained as a private garden, to help preserve it for future generations. We've created an archive of all Lord and Scriver research materials, oral histories, and information to preserve their legacy. We've published two Lord and Scriver monographs, and we give presentations on their designs, part of our ongoing education on garden history and landscape preservation. These Lord and Scriver gardeners are volunteering on the preservation project at Deepwood, one of many ways you can help. Gardening, doing research, giving garden tours, and helping with programs. We have an expert training uh, for every step that we do in the plants that we take care of. And many of the plants that you see here, shrubs and trees and annuals and perennials are ones that Lord and Scriver used in every garden. So it's the best training ground that you can find. 
The city of Salem owns this property, and as we all know, their funds have been cut drastically, especially the Parks Department, since the 1980s. The Parks Department's involvement here at Historic Depot Estate has mainly to do with uh, maintenance of the turf and some of the major pruning of broadleaf evergreens and trees. The rest of it, any kind of enhancement, any kind of maintenance of uh, tightly designed landscapes is left to the volunteers. We desperately need more help to just stay on top of these gardens. And then you add the, uh, the rehabilitation to that and it's obviously, we need help. They are a respite for everybody. The more frantic life becomes, the more we need these natural spaces. I am in awe of how Bush Park is in constant use by every sort of person, every kind of family, every aspect of the community. Without Elizabeth Lord and Edith Scriver, we wouldn't have this space. So we need to carry that mission forward. If you love gardening or history or both, we need your help. To learn about volunteer opportunities and about our work and ways to support it, call us at 503-588-2410 or visit us online at www.lord-scriverconservancy.org.